Uh, all the credit goes to these folks right here. They train for this type of stuff. This is very much a worst case scenario, kind of a crazy thing that you don't expect to actually have to do until you show up and you see it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is actually what we've talked about and here we're ready for it. So the way that that uh, semi truck actually was dangling off the edge, it was essentially pinched uh, onto the concrete as well as one of the bridge abutments that was holding it in place. So we're very concerned with uh, the stabilization there to make sure that our people are safe. Obviously, we are willing to risk a lot to save a lot. And uh, so, yes, we will absolutely take that risk to get her out. But it was a constant concern that that truck could shift at any moment. She was uh, she held it together amazingly. I got to tell you, it was obvious she was shaken up. Obviously that she was scared. Uh, Firefighter Carden did an amazing job of keeping her calm. She held it together like a champ. Uh, but I will say the second she hit solid ground, she was able to let those emotions go and just have that relief. Uh, and it's, it's a pretty impressive thing. Uh, I was not nervous at all going over the edge because I knew that they had me on the top side. Uh, once I reached her, she was super calm, uh, collected, and helped me do what I needed to do to get her to safety, essentially. And it all worked out for the best. And we'll go back to quarters and get ready to do it again if we have to. She was thanking, you know, thank God. That's what she kept saying, thank God. And I, I told her, I said, just take a deep breath, and then here's what I need you to do. Because I needed her to assist in, you know, moving certain ways to be able to get the harness on right. And once we did that, we got her free of the seatbelt. And uh, she was on my system, so I knew that we were good from there. We just needed to bring her on up. I had to trust the guys at the top side, which we have awesome captains and firefighters and sergeants who were assisting the rescue. Um, obviously, without the whole, it was a team effort. Without everybody doing their job, we wouldn't be able to have a successful rescue.